Hello guys, welcome back to Sister Summer. I say that in every vlog. Oh, except for, I guess last vlog, I didn't even notice that I did this at all classic. I just got the names mixed up, I suppose, but I think in the last vlog, I didn't notice till I read the comments that I guess I said, welcome back to Souls at Sundown. But that was because I think when I started off the vlog, we were about to film Souls at Sundown. So anyway, too many names. Welcome back, it is Wednesday. Time is just kind of flying by this week, honestly. I woke up yesterday and I was like, oh, I only have two days until I leave for Electric Forest on Thursday. I'm leaving really early tomorrow morning. I guess I just have to pack up and get my life a little bit more together today. So I'm gonna go and get a spray tan a little bit later on today. I'm going to the same place that I went to before Bonnaroo. Can't wait, I'm super pale right now, so I'm excited. That. Yeah, welcome to the vlog. We are going to prepare for another camping festival together today So I'll show you guys my suitcase and what I end up packing and all that stuff So I need to figure out all the stuff that I got to pack and get my life together I kind of want to clean my room up a little bit do some laundry and stuff. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I just got out of the shower as you can probably tell by my robe. I love this robe. My hair's wet I just have it up. I look kind of funny right now but this is the real me you know I'm, I'm about to do a face mask actually I'm on I think this is gonna be yeah whoa I thought I had more than this this is definitely gonna be my last if I even have enough it doesn't look like I do of my Tula exfoliating treatment mask I need to get another one of these I love this so much I love this mask I used Tula stuff in my night routine video but I don't think I've well, I have talked about it before, but legitimately, you guys, this skincare is my favorite-ish. Like, it is so good. I always use the cleanser, the illuminating face serum. I just have a baby one, but I need to get a bigger one. And then probably my favorite is the hydrating day and night cream. This is incredible. Other than Tula, I just use this toner, which is a... Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal. I don't know. This is like a really, really um, awesome, just like natural toner that you can get on Amazon. It has like incredible reviews, so I just get it from there. More stuff that I love. Why not? A little, a little product I'm loving right now. I haven't done a favorites video in a while. This is the Art Naturals Smooth Touch. What is it called? It's just called Smooth Touch. Basically, it's like to use after you shave to prevent like. Um, and heal razor bumps and all that kind of stuff and like ingrown hairs it says cools and soothes sensitive skin um, I don't use this as much as I should I'm so lazy like I really should use this after probably every time that I shower is that what it says? yeah immediately, immediately after shaving I use it when I shave like my bikini line it's just nice it's not like I feel like so much stuff products that are for like razor burn or something can just burn you but it has like aloe and it's really cooling and it's natural and good okay so I'm gonna this will be interesting I guess we'll see oh I literally have none of this this is sad okay well in that case I'm just gonna try and use it very but you don't need that much of this like see I, I basically thought I had none on my hands but this is a good amount I uh, I haven't done a face mask in a little while. This is another new one. That looks so funny right now. I, this is another new one, the 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask from First Aid Beauty. Um, I used that for the first time last week, and I really liked the way it felt on my skin. It's also just clear, so it's not like a super thick, intense mask. Um, but I need to try that one out more because I don't, I don't know my thoughts on it after just using it like one time. But I freaking love this mask, especially because it's exfoliating and I don't really exfoliate as much as I should. It looks like I'm just about to like shave my face. Speaking of shaving my face, not shaving my face, but I really need, I'm having a tragedy right now, you guys, because I really need to pluck some freaking hairs, um, eyebrow hairs, and if any of you guys get like little chin hairs that like just come and they're really freaking just they're not like a, a small one i don't even know how me and my sister and my mom get them um i don't know if any of you guys do but they're annoying and i mean they're easy to like keep up with but my tweezers so annoying <laughs> i use my tweezers for putting on jewels when i go to festivals on my face because you kind of have to because the jewels are really small 
um, and I just grab it with the tweezer, but I have to use super glue and um, with my jewels, which sounds insane, but it's it's really not, trust me, it doesn't like stick to your face forever, like it's very easy to get off. The glue, when it comes in contact with my tweezers, I guess, it makes them like not sharp anymore and it makes them stop working, so I've probably gone through three pairs of tweezers just from being like stupid. I should have like one pair, I need to get two pairs, one pair that's for doing that specifically, like a cheap pair, honestly. And then I should have like a real pair of tweezers for plucking. Anyway, I don't, I need a freaking pair of tweezers. So I might go to Ulta later on today. I'm literally like digging the last out of this mask. It's annoying using face masks when you have long nails because, or actually any products because it gets under your nails. Let me know if you guys can relate to this. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I just really wanted to talk to you and I was just like doing my routine my post shower routine i guess and i want to talk to you guys okay i'm gonna make this be able to go oh no i just got a hair in it i don't want to know why i feel a little bit stressed out because i feel like i really don't have much to do like before bonnaroo i had to like do a whole video and like i had a bunch of stuff that i had to get done but um I don't have to I don't have to do that this time although um, I did want to say really quick um, I haven't uploaded on my main channel in a couple weeks I think it's been like two weeks um, and I really have been thinking about it and really wanting to film I just feel like I've been really focused on sister summer and vlogging and like because that takes up time every day um, but I do want to freaking film videos for you guys it's just like I feel like I have been I don't know I'm gonna say like I feel like I've been busy but that's that's just like not an excuse because I'm not that busy anyway I have been thinking about the fact that I do want to film and I will film next week when I get back from Electric Forest a lot of things that I haven't talked about have been going on with my emotions and my personal life um but everything is like great like i'm so content and i'm so happy um i just feel like i've been going through some internal changes i have and just like trusting my emotions and um yeah basically just stuff like that so but i'm doing fine and i'm doing great actually i'm very 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 happy with life okay well i don't really need to put it on these parts anyway because i don't like whatever Okay, you do this one for five minutes. Yeah, this one is weird because you don't use it for very long, but we'll do this for five minutes. All right, I got my shades on, my dress on. My slides on. These guys are pissed. He gets so mad at me when I leave, I swear. It's just because he's alone with the dogs right now and my mom isn't home. What's up with your stance, silly? Guys, I promise I'm coming right back. I'm just going to get a spray tan. I will be back in one hour, okay? And that's my Uber. Hey guys, I just got my tan finished. This is what the little room looks like that you come inside. By the way, you flip this light switch and it like puts on a light outside of your room and they'll know that you're ready. This is like where you get tanned. And then just all the things like the solution and everything. So she just comes in here. It literally took like five minutes, like so fast. So we all done now. guys i am back at the casa i had a really great spray tan it was super quick they were so nice we talked about the bachelorette me and the girls <laughs> and um yeah so i went to a spray studio again so i freaking love that place i wish they had one in downtown la that i could go to but i will definitely be hitting it up whenever i am here i'll probably go honestly another time um before i head back i am finally <laughs> kind of making some progress or starting to make some progress on my suitcase for forest so this is just kind of the initial stuff thrown in here that i know i want to bring and i need to outfit plan which is always the most stressful part and it's just not even that i really i really don't care that much i just feel like i've been to so much stuff lately and i only brought a certain like amount of clothing home and i've worn a lot of it so definitely probably gonna be repeating some pieces from like bonnaroo or from like 
shaky beats or something, which is not a big deal at all because I'm going to be with different people and who the hell cares? I always feel so glowy after the spray tan because it really, really just, because you have to do your face, but I don't want to like put anything on or mess anything up, so I'm just going to let myself let myself be. I just ate some raviolis. They were pretty good. Took all the dogs for a walk when I got home. And now I'm just going to get some shit done for my suitcase so I can stop like stressing about stuff I need to get done. This is what the forest wristband looks like for this year. I love it. I really, really like it. <laughs> I'm probably going to put this on tomorrow morning, just right before my flight. I definitely get excited to put it on, but um, the wristbands kind of annoy me. I like to take it off like as soon as the festival is over. A lot of people like to keep theirs on for super long periods of time, but it always itches me. I don't know. I guess after a while you wouldn't notice it, but um, why am I going on about this? Look how tight this is though. This little drawstring bag, the wristband and the wristband came in and there was like a sticker. It's just cool. It's like, I can keep this and always remember my first forest. 2016 baby so yeah that's what those little guys look like tonight i'm making some packing progress and listening to some alina baraz it is actually my first time seeing her live this weekend and i am obsessed with her i know all of her music that is at least released and she is incredible, such a chill artist. If you guys don't listen to her, you have to check her out. It's such good music for just like chilling at night or just any type of like, I don't know, even just right now, I love it. I love it, I'm on her SoundCloud. But anyway, I'm making progress, I'm doing well. So I wanna show you what I've already packed so far before my suitcase gets like too full to show you. A pillow and a blankie. I have, these are like, I call them rage sticks. <laughs> but they're basically just giant like styrofoam glow sticks. So I'm bringing a bunch of these for the girls at my campsite. I'm also bringing a bunch of big bubble wands and glow sticks. And stuff for the campsite, it's like tape and lights and like a fan and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's like one kind of a fan that has a light and then I have another fan down here, very essential. Um, my suitcase is getting kind of heavy already, I've realized, so I really hope it's not gonna be too heavy. But there's really nothing I can do because I really just can't downsize much. I know that sounds silly, but I, I, I mean, I could downsize, right? It's like, I guess I don't have to bring like all of this stuff, but maybe I'll downsize like a couple bubbles <laughs> if necessary. This is my backpack, Camelback, a few snacks, a little handheld fan. I guess there's a lot of fans in here. Maybe I'll downsize with one of my fans. <laughs> um, this is just like stuff that's, good to have on hand you know so i put it all in a bag together and then my makeup and like mirror and everything is in here my baby wipes also should be in there and then i just have to pack like my tapestry this is like accessories bandanas jewelry sunglasses these are my shoes i haven't really planned my outfits i did get this really pretty um sarong today from the spray tan place and it's super super pretty so i'm totally gonna bring this and just have it with me for wrapping around me and hopefully creating outfits with i need to like figure out how to style it and stuff i've had this bralette for so long and i think i've only worn it one time ever and i always pack it but i never really find anything to wear with so i was like i could just tie this high-waisted and wear it with this because this has some nice yellows in it so maybe um some t-shirts i always bring a lot of t-shirts and yeah, I mean, that's about it as for right now, so. It is a few hours later now. I am pretty much done with my packing. I think I'm just going to pretty much take a shower and put my final stuff in <laughs> my suitcase. I actually didn't really plan outfits because I, I don't know, I just have pieces that I know I'm going to wear, so I have like some shorts and some like booty shorts wearing under stuff and then this is an outfit that i love from liberated heart it's really really like cool and kind of psychedelic and it's also super comfortable because it's like spandex or something like that so um i don't know if i'm gonna wear it together because it's like super matchy matchy obviously but um i'm definitely probably gonna wear the leggings and the shirt at some point and i'm just bringing a bunch of shirts i'm bringing one bodysuit because why not and i'm bringing the bralette well a few bralettes actually i have like some bras and underwear in here so um 
the bralette and my sarong which I was practicing tying this around me and it's so freaking just like pretty like there's so I don't know I just I really 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 love the way this looks and I'm excited to just bring it around with me I'll probably end up wearing it like just as like a dress one day and then I'll probably just have it on my shoulders another day or two because it's super pretty so yeah I'm just gonna add these things shoes and accessories you guys already saw that stuff that's basically that's basically it here mr squirtle at my door i'll come for you in a second it's almost 3 a.m i'm super exhausted i just edited um this vlog <laughs> hello are you coming inside he was just making sure i was here i don't know i'm sorry that he will hook you up I think he saw the suitcase. He got a little emotional tonight. Anyway, I'm freaking exhausted. I'm gonna go to sleep, but I wanted to um, let you guys know about the fact that it's gonna be another one of those things that we did at Bonnaroo where I'm gonna be vlogging two days of the festival. Um, I actually might just film like, I'm probably gonna be filming at Forest differently than I did at Bonnaroo. I'm probably, I'm not camping with anyone that I like, really actually like know closely so filming like everyone like at the campsite so i'm gonna probably just be filming like little clips of things from the whole weekend and combine it into one vlog sorry my voice is like weird right now it's just it's late and it it gets raspy sometimes so i don't know what necessarily to expect but i will be filming as much as i can this weekend and hopefully a cool vlog will come together because i really liked my bonnaroo vlog but anyway i wanted to say to expect that not until probably later in the day on monday so there won't be a vlog um until then because i'm not gonna have internet i'm gonna be camping again as you guys know i think you guys get the deal now um, really happy with my spray tan. It definitely is still going to be developing and tomorrow it's going to be like its fullest extent. So I'm excited for my journey tomorrow and um, I will talk to you guys like on Friday. That's probably the first day I'll start filming stuff. Friday, Saturday, Sunday a little bit. I'm so freaking excited. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this vlog. It was definitely a bit longer today. I hope you appreciate that. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Have an amazing...